this actually looks pretty interesting because that's a right turn. <laughs> oh boy, that is really narrow. Oh man. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera. Oh wow, um, this is pretty cool. It is extremely tight. Ouch! <laughs> oh, that hurt. I just smacked my knee on a sharp corner. Oh, that knee's not going to work for a second. Oh. <laughs> and now you can see the agony in my face. <laughs> oh, that hurt so bad. <laughs> All right. Ah, man, those legs are ripped muscle-wise. <laughs> ah, but I'm just such a pussy. <laughs> oh, it just hit just right, you know? But... Oh, man. Oh, I made it. Actually, a better picture from this side. <laughs> Whew. Uh, I'm still hurting. <laughs> I'll survive. Oh. All right, let me try a picture from this side. Just pulled this tick off of me. Little bastard. He was, I think he was burrowed, but I don't know if he actually did or not. But, damn it. I'm in the Lyme disease capital of the country, I think. It's northeast. Oh, there's the falls. Oh, or those are some falls. Okay, I was not expecting this. I didn't look up any. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, these are pretty spectacular falls. Let's get down there. These are the falls. They're very, very large. You can tell by that kayak or the scale. And he's way, I mean, he is a few hundred feet in front of it. So these are very impressive. Very impressive. Branch out the falls now. That's really impressive. <laughs> I love places like this that are just like, hey, if you want to climb out there, go for it. If you fall off and die, it's your own damn fault. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, there's little falls at the dam, so I guess they took the dam. One of the falls, I don't know. I just tell it's cool as hell. I can go a little higher here. I remember trekking poles. I mean, I never take my pack off. I should take my pack off when I'm doing dangerous stuff. Now this has got a fence because you could fall. There's no second chance here. <laughs> Woo. I'm gonna go with about 75 feet, which is uh, 
guess I can look it up. I think the whole falls are probably like 100 feet. And then the front here that I'm on is about 75, maybe. I don't know. It's big. <laughs> I gotta get back to hiking. I got like only 10 miles to do and I don't have much time. Nice. Well, looks like the mountains are getting big again. That one's pretty tall. <laughs> huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Because <laughs> it's gonna get hard real soon. <laughs> I know it. It's gonna get hard. It's coming. I think the mountains are gonna get bigger and the trail's gonna stay the same. It's gonna be steep climbs and they're just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, the toughest part's coming out. Some big mountains back there. <laughs> Isn't the sky cool? It's like a, a waveform or something. But ah, big moments, big moments coming. <laughs> On the plus side, it's gonna be really beautiful. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain, but ah, man. I was kinda hoping it'd get flat for a little while and relax until we got to the the White Mountains. It's not gonna. Just wishful thinking. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking miles. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It only takes a minute to sink in. I know, I know how, you know, at $14.99 it didn't affect me, but at $1,500 it affects me. It's just a number, but, wow. Damn. Love it. $1,500. My. <laughs> Connecticut. All their campsites and uh, they're the only state that I've seen bear boxes at tent sites. I mean, they really take care of the trail community and the towns too. Um, Kent City, there's a welcome center and it's basically set up for hikers. There's showers in the back, there's power outlets. It's just sweet. And then all this new stuff. And there's actual trail guides in here. Now, everywhere else it's just just garbage or just beat up. Nobody cares. But they care here. They got good clubs or something. Uh, now I just don't know which way to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a road walk, yeah. I got a bit of a road walk to do. But I just wanted to say that Connecticut is awesome. Good trail. Well, I did 24 miles, and um, I gotta climb another 600 feet, and another three miles to a shelter, and I'm totally exhausted. I can't climb anymore. I really am. <laughs> and it's getting dark. It's gonna be dark here shortly. So I'm gonna have to like just camp right here because after this spot, it's gonna be. Just really steep. I can see the hill. It's like the top of the hill is like right there. So it's like straight up. Straight up 600 feet. I'm going to be exhausted. So I'm just sitting here thinking, well, I could pitch a tent right here and not hurt anything.
And I'm all alone out here too. <laughs> that is a lot of coyotes. I had a pretty uneventful night. Slept really well. Didn't have any issues or anything, so. Ah, it was a nice, quick little stealther. And now I'm making that climb that I was avoiding last night. <laughs> I'm just about up. Yes. And you saw it. It's pretty rough. <laughs> I think that's just going to be the tone from here on out is, uh, it's going to be rugged. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like this stuff. But it, make, it makes it hard to lay down the miles, that's for sure. It's a little foggy up here. It's cool. All right. Smells really good <laughs> going through here. There's so many of them. I got another climb called Bear Mountain coming up. But this is really pretty. <laughs> Wow. So I'm at uh, Bear Mountain. It's the, I'm at the peak, and I guess this is some sort of monument here. I'm gonna try to climb up this. Actually, I'm try to pull. Whoa! Can't really see anything. Well, so it's just kind of a tower. That one, I don't know. But uh, he was probably amazing. <laughs> oh, that's two peaks this morning. <laughs> I had to climb and didn't get a view. That sucks. So that was Virginia, or <laughs> Connecticut's highest peak and then and nothing ever looks difficult in this but I had to come down that and uh, I fell <laughs> hit my elbow pretty hard but it seems to be okay it's kind of numb right now actually so I didn't break anything I, I don't think anyway but it's well it's the rocks are very slippery. Like now I'm trapped. I got slippery rock all around me. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, oh, that's treacherous. <laughs> Absolutely treacherous. It's like a 700 foot ascent. And now the descent is, is totally steep. It took nine tenths of a mile to go up. And I think two or three tenths to go down or something like that. So it's pretty much straight down. I'm, I got to put the phone down. But yeah, that was Bear Mountain, highest point. And that observation thing, I don't know what they were doing there, but that was done in 1885. And it must have all been done by hand. That was crazy. All right, I got to get going. I tell you, it is so beautiful in here. So beautiful. Look at this. So many beautiful little falls.
This is Raiga Ravine. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna have to put the camera down. This, these roots are really slippery. Well, maybe maybe I'm doing okay. Here we go. But it's a little tricky, trail-wise, because these uh, rocks are all slippery as hell. But what a beautiful stream. Jeez, it's just beautiful. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty high right now. Wow. Made it to Massachusetts. <laughs> nice. Wow. Ah, another state. Woo. Beautiful set for this uh, crossing. Ah. I'm really not sure what my next stop is, but I'm in Massachusetts. Sweet. <laughs>